Warning! Brace yourself for jump scares! Uh, hello, and welcome to your new job at the new Freddy Fazbear's Pizza! You implied no. Hey, hey, wait, wait, what, what are you doing? Working my job as a night guard. What? Oh, I'm sorry, I mean working my job as a night guard at the new Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. My job is to look after all the fuzzy animals. Uh, this is your first night on the job, right? Yep. So you need me to teach you how to do your job. Yeah, I'll pass. But this is for your safety. And I don't need it. Alright, I'm just gonna have a short nap. The only two animatronics that can attack me under the mask are Foxy and the puppet, and so long as I'm even half paying attention, I can keep the music box man. Not that it's active before 2 a.m. and Foxy isn't even active until night two. Good night. Good night, Freddy. Night two. I must say I'm a little perplexed by your uh, confidence and or knowledge of the job. Would it change anything if I told you how I knew about it? It would save my curiosity. Hold that thought. Hey, Chica, how's your face? Hey, Freddy. I've been here before. No, you haven't. Well, you are. But you said it was your first night on the job. Both can be true. That's not how time works. Yeah, better not be. Imagine if FNAF had time travel. Jeez. What the hell is a fun app? Night three. All right, come along, Freddy. Hello, Freddy. All right, you next, Bonnie. I said you next, buddy. So I would... Shut up, run along, balloon boy. No, I would very much Shut like... Shut up. Look, my job here is to provide tips on surviving into drip feed lore. If you don't need it, then why am I even here? And find your tips on surviving where to vague up the wall. You weren't clear on how much you need to use the flashlights on each of the animatronics. Incidentally, it's only useful against Foxy. Oh, well... And as for the lore, please, you'd get more coherency reading the dictionary backwards. Uh... Despite all the lore drops you pretend to give out, there's still so many unanswered questions. Like, why is your face significant. Is this place genius? Am I really the victim of the someone was bitten also the number 87? Uh, details, details. The details are what answer the questions. Not now, Freddy. Sorry, Freddy. Well, it sounds to me like you know an awful lot. Why do you need to know more? Because I don't know what's real. I'm clocking off. Night four. You know, there's every chance the next game could come out and reveal this wasn't a prequel after all. Where could you possibly be going with this? Maybe there was no secret fed pizzeria. Maybe the number 87 wasn't actually a year. Maybe you never died. Or you have a twin brother with the exact same voice working for the same company. Or maybe you did die, but you stuck around anyway because you're a zombie! Haha, uh -huh. not so funny now that the zombie allegations are getting sent your way! But everyone already agrees that this is a prequel! Of course it's a prequel! It's only a prequel until the day it retroactively stops being one. No, but, but, but the law! The law is not immutable! But Game Theory said- What if Game Theory was wrong? Night five. Go fish. Two pair. Eight clear. Hey, Freddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, you sure took your time. I have at least two questions. Hold that thought. What's that over there? Must have been the wind. Please, can you take this seriously? All right, you heard him. Party's over. Scoot. See, so look what you did. Now they're all sad. Look, I think you've given me a bit of an inferiority complex. Can you please just let me tell you absolutely anything? Give me a timeline. What year is the first game set? Uh, not that. How about I tell you how each of the animatronics work? If you hear the sound, then that means the mango is... Map 1 and 2 run on constant parallel RNG checks that range between 1 and 20 for each of the applicable animatronics. If the number rolled is less than the animatronics AI level, then they succeed in their movement opportunity. This does not guarantee predictable movement on 1020 mode, however, as most animatronics have a hard AI cap of 15. On a successful movement opportunity, they move closer to my office based on a set path. Once they reach the end of their path, either I fend them off or I die. I fend most of them off with the mask. I fend with a Foxy off with the flashlight. Puppet's music box needs to be wound at all times as there is no way to fend her off once she leaves her room. Wild card is Golden Freddy who only shows up on night six in a standard playthrough and is defeated by my lack of objects permits. Mango makes a noise. Your contribution is very much appreciated. Night six. Hello, uh, what are you doing here? But surely you already know. No, no, I'm saying this for law reasons. This is my thing. I'm supposed to be curious as to why you'd stick around for a sixth night. Did you forget why we're here? Hey, wait. Minute. Yes? I have to actually stop paying attention. Uh oh, well, maybe now you might actually get a prize. What? No, I didn't say it'd be hard. God damn it, why do I even bother? Allow me to put you through my night shift mindset. I have three main tasks light up the paths to my office, wind up the music box, and put on the mask when my camera goes down. I do this in a regular sequence, and that accounts for most threats. If Foxy shows up, shine my light for a couple of seconds. If I spot someone in the vents, the mask goes on until I hear them leave. Same goes for Mangle Sound, same goes for Toy Bonnie, who, unlike the others, loves to greet me. Hello, Freddy. But only after after an arbitrary amount of time passes. Any mistakes lead to immediate death, except for Balloon Boy, who disables my flashlight, leading to not quite immediate, but still death. Who are you talking to? You. You're moving to the night shift, right? Oh, I guess I am. Now, I'm not saying FNAF 2's night shifts will necessarily be a transferable skill to a FNAF 1 night shift, but let's just say, don't let the door hit you on the way out. What? Oh, right, it's time to get 
fire. Night seven. Start the stop. What? Mind the music box. Nothing can attack me until I hear the clanging ambience. That's the clanging ambience. Hello, Foxy. Hello, Bonnie. If I'm not being attacked, I'm winding the box. Always spend as much time as I can winding the box. Hello, Chica. Hello, Freddy. Off you go. Flash Foxy. Wind the box. Check the vents. Flash Foxy. Wind the box. Hello, Bonnie. Hello, Blue Boy. Hello, Hello Freddy. Freddy. No need to check the vents if someone enters my office because I already have the mask on for roughly five seconds anyway, which is the maximum amount of time needed before they're guaranteed to leave. Besides, Toy Bonnie, who has the chance to stay for longer. Hello, Freddy. It's been a while. I'm sorry. Are you threatening me? You know there's not a semblance of a chance of you being the one to kill me even if I do make it. Mistake. The only animatronics to actually look out for are Foxy, Dalton, Freddy, the marionette, and hello, Toy Bonnie. Hey, said hello, Toy Bonnie. Hello, Freddy. Good, you waste some valuable box winding time. Hello, Mango, I don't even need to check the vent. You make my job super easy. Hello, Freddy. Hello, Bonnie. Hello, Chica. Hello, Chica. Hello, Blue Boy. Hello, Bonnie. Hello, Mango. Hello, Freddy. Hello, Golden Freddy. Hello, Freddy. Who says I can't be the one to take you down? Oh, jeez, you're so right. I'm so frightened. This is what I would say if I didn't have this stopwatch. You move on entirely predictable five second attack intervals. You don't scare me. What about that jump scare warning at the start of the video? You oh, okay. I guess I didn't think about that. Hello, Bonnie. Hello. I said hello, Bonnie. Bonnie! Hello, Freddy! Damn it, Bonnie! Alright, if this is how it's gonna go, let's just do it! Come on! Come at me! Whichever's fast! Foxy, puff it! Let's go! Let's recreate the summer was bitten! Here it comes! I'm not afraid of you! Oh my god, I was lied to you. You lied to me! I was all tensed up for nothing!